Oh. Are we all clear here? Gail says uh, they've got an OBGYN appointment to check oh, for no a baby. No way. Right? No, no, no. Is that right? You got no, that baby no, appointment? No, no, no. Three years. Three I saw years. that bottle of prenatal oh, vitamins in your in your handbag. So don't fool me, Gail. Come on, buddy. All right. I suppose there'll be a baby here next year. Nope. Who are going to be the godparents? Don't have any picked out. Don't have a kid. Well, if, if and when you do have a child, who are you going to pick out for your godparents? I don't know. Will it be from Mark's side? I don't know. Or will it be from Gail's side? I don't know. No, I haven't thought about what, it. What, what, now, be careful so that you don't discriminate now. You understand? It's very important in this. You don't want to cause any hard feelings. Right, Gail? Hi, Mark. <laughs> Mark, are we about right. ready to go back to Minneapolis? Yes. And we, and we got that uh, Grand Marquis cranked up? Let's go out and Roger see that. Let's go out and check and see. Gail and Mark have been married about a year, right? Yep. And uh, so we've had a very nice visit with them. They were very nice to come down. We've been out water skiing. And they've got about a hundred and, who knows, about a hundred miles trip back to Minneapolis. Joan, where did you go? About 100 miles? Can we follow you out to your car? Sure. Let's yep. go. Anybody else have anything else to say here? Not really. Not really? We ate too much. <laughs> we ate too much. Janelle says, not really. She does want to say something, but really doesn't want to Hi, say Trenty. it. Hi, Trenty. Hi, Trenty. I have a blankie. <laughs> there he has a blankie, Trent. How about Kayla and Kendall? You don't I know them, too. but Trenty will remember all of you kids. Yeah. So, Kayla and Kendall better come visit us. Okay, we'll do that. Anyway, let's follow Mark and Gail out to the car. Oh, look at that. Everybody's leaving. It's one of those sad times. We're all going home. The party's over. Our gracious host here, Punky and I, are going tomorrow to Minneapolis. <laughs> all the good chicken, all the good food, we've got to thank Punky and Margie. It was very good, Parky. Yes, it was good. Anyway, we're gonna go out and see Mark and Gail. Okay, Mark and Gail. Bye. Drive carefully. Come out to Montana. All right. There we go. I guess there's another part. Mark and Gail leave it kind of seems kind of quiet. But listen, we got a couple of go-go dancers right here. Carrie and Janelle are the biggest. Are they a bunch of go-go dancers? Look at this, Carrie. Let's have a look at her. Look at that hot look stuff. Look at that tan. Oof -da. Good girl, Carrie. Ooh, is she loose? Loose. Look at that. Hey, all conference, come over here. All conference. What? How you doing, Carrie? Carrie, what are we going to do this fall? Duluth. Where are we going? Duluth. Duluth? And what's the name of the school? UMB. And you're, uh, what are you going to do in school? What are you studying for? Dice. No. <laughs> Let's have a look at that. I think, Carrie, no. Are you, do you have sort of a goal in mind? Do you have sort of a goal in mind? Stockbroker. Stockbroker. That would be good. Uncle Roger's doing the poke out here. Roger? Wow. Let's see if Kerry can do the polka. It would have to take Punky's place to dance on the lawn. Good, go on, Roger. Roger still got the old tune. Okay. With that, I think we're going to close out the party here one of these days. Ah, let's check in here at the card play. We're down to a. Here's the big 
gamblers yeah. right up here. They're playing for a big pot. Not to, uh, How we doing here, gang? Have we all want some money? Uh, no. uh, Todd has joined the group. We got a professional in now. What is it? All right. With all it is, we're going to sign out because look what happened. The battery is going down. What? The battery is going down. Joan, how's Brent doing over there? He's down three cards. Wow. I'm going to hold the camera on as long as I possibly can to see who the winner is here. Boy, we've got some intensity here. You can understand. There's not too much talking at this point. Todd grabs a card. He pulls it in. He looks. There goes Lissa. She's grabbing. Brent is down to two cards. One. Hang in there, Brent. Let's go. I would say anybody, I would say, not, I would just say older, but it's not, it's not like the 30 year old. It's only at Arnie Benuza's place that you would find that poker would be legal in this kind of quantity or in this kind of a pot. Out here on the A.G. Benuza Ranch. A.G. Benuza, postmaster. Philanthropist. Rancher. And above all, an ace mechanic at the R.C. Benusa Service Center. R.C. standing for Roger Searle, of course. believe it. 1925, he's still going strong. Uh, yeah, let's go.
Clarence, I can't believe the timing is still there. You still got it, right? Oh, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I tell you, you know, you, you know who you sound like, Clarence? You sound like Grandpa Tipor out of the Tibor brothers of North Dakota. Oh, North Dakota. And Grandpa played a concertina, and they said, would you like to play one? And Grandpa said, yeah. And he said, what one would you like to play? And he said, I like the Sharpshooter's Waltz. No, Sharpshooter's sharp March, maybe. Oh, Sharpshooter's March. And he said, that was a good one. Yeah, that's a good that one. That was I a good one. I played play for years already. That's right. I played. You know, with the left hand, you know how you put, put the chords? That's the under the double eagle. Well, play under the double eagle. You like that under the double eagle. Yeah. I like, yeah. But, play under the double but, you know, it is not... It is not so easy, Claire, keeping the timing up, you know, with that oh, thing, is can, it? He can do it. I know he can do it. And Clara, <laughs> a, I play under the did you one. also play the accordion too, the piano accordion? I used to drum. <laughs> I, I drummed with him. I, I tried to play the accordion, but you know, no, I couldn't. If, I, if someone was watching me, I'd be done. <laughs> well, you, you know? got nervous, right? Yeah. I, but then you did a drumming for Clarence yeah. too, didn't you? Where you had your own band yeah. in Minneapolis? And what did they call the band? Kalaji's Music Makers. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Kalaji's Music Makers. I even had to think. <laughs> Kalaji's Music I had Makers. I but I still remember. She, she I I, and I can remember you playing at that at those VFWs, was yeah, it there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I remember there was a, there were a lot of private parties. <laughs> and Claire how many years? And I worked in Minneapolis, 1956 to 59. Hey, that's a tough one. Uh, that's, yeah, tough that's, one. that's well, that's that's that left hand. That's so hard to pay, Clarence. Well, both sides. Both sides. Both sides. Oh my Lord, I don't know how you can do that. Honest to God, you know, when I think of a piano accordion, I can handle that, Clarence, but.
Very good, Clarence. Very good. Yay, let's go. Come on, let's roll it. you miss me. I know you do. Well, will you come out to Montana, Clarence? That's right. I miss you, sir. When I come out to Clarence, you. Clarence, let me take a minute out here. I want to thank you for that tape you sent me. Do you remember sending that tape for Joni and I? You, oh, I think so, yeah. Yes, you did. You made a special tape, and, and I've always been very appreciative of that tape. I like to play that tape. What you're looking at is Roger's accordion right down I was wondering if I could cut that off a little bit short. <laughs> All of a sudden, boom, you cut that off short, well, that's okay. You can't play that. Roger. Can't Danny play the Wednesday night waltz? The Wednesday night waltz. I don't think I have that one. No, no, Wednesday night. Saturday night waltz, Clarence. No, I got the Monday night waltz. Well, if you yeah, want to... That's the same thing, only a different title. <laughs> 
I don't know. This one is a copy. Got, she look at how brown it is. Oh, already. for crying out loud! Yeah. It's hard to even read. Well, Clans, come out to Montana, and I'll make you some. I'll make you some. I'll make you some new copies. Free. You knew what it was. Roger, where did you get that Wednesday night waltz from? Brown is for Bang in New Orleans. Oh! That's where right. I got that book on how to play the Cotopino. Oh. Uh, Clarence, what do you think about that method of learning? That's all right. Probably learning the right way, but I don't even know what this even sounds like. Do you know Wednesday night waltz? How does that go? No. No, you don't know Wednesday night waltz. No. Okay, well, I... Pretty good, Clarence. I gotta give you credit. Nobody just comes up. Hey, Clarence, you just don't pick up a sheet of paper and play that thing without knowing it. Oh, so it kind of. I've heard it before. You trying to get going on it, but and it kind of come back. I didn't play it, but once you know, well then the fingers will get going. Well then they kind of come back a little bit, Clarence. Oh yeah, your fingers still will remember where to go. Like this one here, I found it in my old music pile and. Where he came from, I don't know. Where did you get oh. that? That, oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's not a concertina. Oh, yes. Tommy Fuchs. Sure it is. It's, well, it's a real nice number, too. but the thought is just that I've got to try to learn to play that doggone thing. Don't practice now. Play something. Well, I think I can make it, and I don't know. Thank you. That's a nice question.
radio. Clarence, I cannot believe that you got to play. Clarence, I cannot believe that every finger you got to play the, you know, just the right keys to hit it just right. Well, the Cross Texas, that's the one Joni you know, likes. Oh, I like that. He played that one. Did you play that already? Yeah. Yeah, he played it. I like that one. That was, That's a good one. That's a good one? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds familiar. That's a good one, yeah. Well, uh, Jenny's daughter always says that. That's a good one. I don't know oh, why. Not you know. my daughter. Oh, that's Mary Jane, Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Uh, oh, I thought you said that Carrie says oh, that. Oh, she picked that up. She's just laughing. Oh, she's laughing because Mary because, Jane says yeah, that. Between Roger and Mary Jane, when they get together, that's all they say. Oh, that's these a good one. These are two of them like here, Roger. Oh, that's really a good one. Roger. Yeah. These are two of them. These are those different E-flat chords in there. Oh, okay. Oh, E-flat chords. There's well, two of different ones in there. Well, Clarence, what key are you playing in that concertina? What is that concertina? C. Oh, my oh, that's a C. My fingers won't reach over to number 12 and 15 or whatever. Uh, well, uh, Roger, will you show, will you match up your fingers to Clarence's? I want to see the length of those fingers, number well, one. The length of the fingers is no problem. See, the one well, I, I wanted wanna... was in uh, E flat. Okay, but let me... But uh, she, uh, she can't transpose with the cord to play okay. with me in E flat. So I got to play the C so then she could match, see? All right, well, Clarence. Clarence, will you answer me one question? Can Roger learn how to play that concertina? Sure he can learn. He well, he can learn. Yeah. So it's got nothing to do with the fact that his fingers are short or anything. All he's got to do is, is uh, make the fingers a little bit shorter, have a couple of short ones, and, oh. and he's got it already made. Okay, so then. So then <laughs> Okay, Roger. There you got it, right there. There's the recipe. There is the recipe.
together yeah, and something like this that works. Right here. Take it back and show somebody what, are what you did. Why are all these things here? Why do you got all these things? Well, I can't play them. Listen, listen. Okay. You have to play something. No. Sound Clarence. Roger just set the camera down and left and is going to church. He didn't even take it off record, so if you go back a little bit here, you might find a slanted picture. Was it on? He left Yeah. Roger forgot to shut it off. He's going by itself. But so, so that's what I'm trying to say, Clarence. Is that right? Can you back it up? No, that's okay. I'm just going to keep it up. Sister, what do you got there? Oh, you said, I'm, yep. I'm telling him to do it. Oops, oops. Oh, oh, sorry about that, Roger. I had to set it down. top on it. Good. Just pour me a glass.